Good day everyone. The group members of group 5 are Avanzado Giselle, Manankil Jerome, Patinga Rose Jane, Sechal Jerome, Tabukuran Asbeth, Waminal Angela. We, the group 5, will going to report about the topics of post-medical image processing. Under this will be filtering, instruction and enhancement, registration, classification, texturing and segregation, medical image displaying, visualization and representation, image displaying, display workstations and other tools, 2D and 3D displaying algorithms, 3D volume rendering and ray tracing, virtual reality technology. Hi everyone, my name is Rosine A. Patina and I'll be going to report about the post-medical image processing. Post-medical image processing, the commonly used term medical image processing means the provision of digital image processing for the medicine. Medical imaging is a procedure used to attain images to the body parts for medical uses in order to identify or study diseases. Image processing and display are critical components in the imaging workflow chain. They have tremendous diagnostic utility for disease detectability and interpretation. In addition, the combination of information for two or more modalities can increase both sensitivity and specificity compared to a single exam. The most important limitation of image processing. Image processing cannot increase the amount of information available in the input image. Applying mathematical operations to images can only remove information present in an image. Sometimes, removing information that is not relevant can make it easier for humans to understand images. Image processing is always limited by the quality of the input data. If an imaging system provides data of an acceptable quality, it is better to try to improve the imaging system rather than hope that the magic of image processing will compensate for poor image. Example of image denoising. Image noise cannot be eliminated without degrading contrast between small details in the image. Note that although noise removal gets rid of the noise, it also degrades anatomical features. In the picture from the left to the right, a chest CT slice, same slice with added noise, same slice process with an edge preserving noise removal algorithm. Changing resolution of an image. The fundamental resolution of the input image. That is the ability to separate a pair of nearby structures is limited by the imaging system and cannot be improved by image processing. In the center image, the system resolution is less than the distance between the impulses. We cannot tell from the image that there were two impulses in the data. In the process image, at right, we still cannot tell that there were two impulses in the input data. In the picture from the left to right, the input to an imaging system, it consists of two nearby point impulses. A 16 by 16 image produced by the imaging system, image resampled 
to 128 by 128 resolution using cubic interpolation. Filtering. Filtering is an operation that changes the observable quality of image in terms of resolution, contrast, and noise. Typically, filtering involves applying the same or similar mathematical operation at every pixel in an image. For example, spatial filtering modifies the intensity of each pixel in an image using some function of the neighboring pixels. Filtering is one of the most elementary image processing operation or the most basic image processing steps to enhance image contrast. Mean filtering in the image domain. A very simple example of a special filter is a mean filter. Replaces each pixel in an image with a mean of n by n neighborhood around the pixel. The output of the filter is an image that appears more smooth and less noisy than the input image. The picture is the input x-ray image. Input image convolved with a 7x7 7 7 mean filter. Averaging over the small neighborhood reduces the magnitude of the intensity of these continuities in the image. Mean filtering. Mathematically, the mean filter is defined as a convolution between the image and a constant volume, n by n matrix. The n by n mean filter is a low-pass filter. A low-pass filter reduces high-frequency components in the Fourier transform of the image. Convolution and the Fourier transform. The relationship between Fourier transform and convolution is a formula in the picture. Convolution of a digital image with a matrix of constant values is a discrete equivalent of the convolu convolution of a continuous image function with the rec or the rectangular box car function. The FT of the rectangle function is the sync function. So mean filtering is the equivalent to multiplying the FT of the image by the sync function. This mostly preserves the low frequency components of the image and diminishes the high frequency components. Mean filtering in the forward domain. Input X-ray image. In the first picture from the left, is the Fourier transform of the input image magnitude. In the middle image is the Fourier transform of the 7 times 7 mean filter that is a product of sync function in a X and Y. And the picture at the right is the Fourier transform of the filtered image. Image smoothing Mean filtering is an example of an image smoothing operation. Smoothing and removal of high-frequency noise can help human observers understand medical images. Smoothing is also an important intermediate step for advanced image analysis algorithms. Modern image Analysis algorithms involve numerical optimization and require computation of derivatives of functions derived from image data. Smoothing helps make derivative computation numerically stable. Ideal low-pass filter. The so-called ideal low-pass filter cuts off 
all the frequency above a certain threshold in the FT of the image. In the forward domain, this is achieved by multiplying the FT of the image by cylinder shape filter generated by rotating as one dimension rectangular function around the origin. The Theoretically, the same effect is accomplished in the image domain by convolution with one-dimension sync function rotated around the origin. Assumes that images are periodic functions on an infinite domain. In a practice, most images are not periodic. Convolution with the rotated sync function result in an artifact called ringing. Another drawback of the ideal low-pass filter is the computational cost, which is a very high in a comparison to mean filtering. Ideal low-pass filter and ringing artifact. The picture from the left is the ideal low-pass filter that is the same function rotated around the center of the image. In the middle image is the original image, and the picture at the right is the image after convolution with the low pass filter. Notice how the bright intensity of the ribbons on the right of the image is replicated in the soft tissue to the right. Gaussian filtering. The Gaussian filter is a low-pass filter that is not affected by ringing artifact. In a continuous domain, the Gaussian filter is defined as the normal probability density function with standard deviation which has been rotated about the origin in x y space. Formally, the Gaussian filter is defined as a formula as you can see in the picture, where the value of deviation is called the width of the Gaussian filter. FT of Gaussian filter. The FT of the Gaussian filter is also a Gaussian filter with reciprocal width 1 over standard deviation with the formula as, can, as you can see in the picture where n and v are spa spatial frequency discrete gaussian filter the discrete gaussian filter is a matrix is element j i j given by the formula as you can see in the picture the size of the matrix 2 and plus 1 determines how accurately the discrete Gaussian approximates the continuous Gaussian. A common choice n is greater than 3 as standard deviation. Sample of Gaussian filters. The picture at the left is a continuous 2D Gaussian with standard deviation of 2. And the picture at the right is a discrete 21 by 21 Gaussian filter by standard deviation of 2. Application of the Gaussian filter To apply low-pass filtering to a digital image, we perform convolution between the image and the Gaussian filter. This is an equivalent to multiplying the FT of the image by a Gaussian filter with 1 over standard deviation. The Gaussian function decreases very quickly as we move away from the peak. At the distance, standard deviation of 4 from the peak, the value of the Gaussian is only 0 and 3 ten thousandths of the value at the peak. Convolution with the Gaussian filter removes high frequency in the image. Low frequencies are most retained. The larger the standard deviation 
of the Gaussian filter, the smoother the result of the filtering. An image convolved with Gaussian filter with different leads. In the picture, from the left, original image, second, the standard deviation of 1, third, standard deviation of 4, and fourth, standard deviation of 16. Median filtering. The median filter replaces each pixel in the image with a median of the pixel values in an n by n neighborhood. Taking the median of a set of number is a non-linear operation. Therefore, median filtering cannot be represented as convolution. The median filter is useful for removing impulse noise, a type of noise where some isolated pixels in the image have very high or very low intensity values. That is advantage of median filtering is that it can it can remove important features such as thin edges. Example of median filtering. The first picture from the left is the original image. The second picture is the image degraded by adding salt and pepper noise. The intensity of the tent of the pixel has been replaced by 0 or 255. The third picture is the result of filtering the degraded image with a 5 by 5 mean filter. The fourth picture is the result of filtering with a 5 by 5 median filter. Much of the salt and pepper noise has been removed, but some of the fine lines in the image have also been removed by the filtering. Edge preserving, smoothing, and denoising. When we smooth an image, we remove high frequency components. This helps reduce noise in the image, but it also can remove important high frequency features such as edges. An edge in image processing is a discontinuity in the intensity function. For example, in an X ray image, the intensity is discontinuous along the boundaries between bone and soft tissue. Some advanced filtering algorithms try to, remo to remove noise in images without smoothing edges. For example, the anisotropic diffusion algorithm by Perona and Malik. Anisotropic diffusion algorithm. Mathematically, smoothing an image with a Gaussian filter is analogous to simulating heat diffusion in a homogeneous body. In anisotropic diffusion, the image is treated as an inhomogeneous body with different heat and conductance at different places in the image. Near edges, the conductance is lower, so heat diffuses more slowly preventing the edge from being smoothed away. A away from edges, the conductance is faster. The result is that less smoothing is applied near image edges. The approach is only as good as ability to detect image edge. The topic of construction and enhancement. Construction means the tightening and shortening of muscle. Enhancement. The noun enhancement comes from the verb enhance, meaning to increase or improve, and it can describe anything that an improvement to the quality or value of something. With the purpose of image processing, enhancement is part of the preparation of the image for visualization. So what we do with the image? The image should be enhanced. Why image enhancement? 
it can't be distinguished between tissues the nature of the physiological system under investigation and the procedure used in imaging may diminish the contrast and visibility of details data is too noisy for computer algorithm to perform well medical images are often deteriorated by nose due to various sources of interference and other phenomena that affect the measurement processes in imaging and data acquisition systems. Imaging artifacts interfere with visualization or computer processing. How to enhance image? By operation to increase contrast, remove noise, emphasize edges like edge boost and sharp masking, modify shapes. Image enhancement techniques range from linear to non-linear, from fixed to adaptive, and from pixel-based to multi-scale methods. Trust enhancement by histogram equalization. The pictures are the examples. Enhancement by adaptive wavelet shrinkage denoising. Only sub images with diagnostic information are reconstructed. The pictures below are the examples. Enhancement by adaptive filtering, noise or speckle reduction. Adaptive image filtering needs some priori information about the image. This is an image modeling problem. Geometric or statistical information are the primary information used. Registration Image registration is the process of combining two or more images for providing more information. Intensity-based automatic image registration is an iterative process. It requires that you specify a pair of image, a metric, an optimizer, and a transformation type. In this case, the pair of images is the MRI image, called the reference or fixed image, which is of size of 512, and the CT image called the moving or target image, which is of size of 256. The metric is used to define the image similarity, metric for evalu evaluating the accuracy of the registration. This image similarity metric takes the two images with all the intensity values and returns a scholar value that describes how similar the images are. The optimizer. It defines the methodology for minimizing or maximizing the similarity metric. The transformation type that use is rigid transformation or two dimension that work translation and rotation for target image or brings them as aligned target image into alignment image with the reference image. The first step in registration process was specifying the transform type with an internally determined transformation matrix. Together, they determine the specific image transformation that is applied to the moving image. Next, the metric compares the transform moving image to the fixed image and a metric value is computed. And finally, the optimizer checks for a stop condition. In this case, the stop condition is the specified maximum number of iterations. If there is no stop condition, the optimizer adjusts the transformation matrix to begin the next iteration and display the results of it in part of result. The next part is the classification, texturing, and segregation. Medical image classification is one of the most important problems in the image recognition area, and its aim is to classify medical images into different categories to help doctors 
in diseases, diagnosis, or further research. Overall, medical image classification can be divided into two steps. The first step is extracting effective features from this image. The second step is using the features to build models that is classified the image data set. Textures are one of the vital features in image processing, and especially biomedical image analysis. Although textures look intuitive so far, a single unifying of them have not been suggested, which could present a comprehensive definition for textures. Therefore, Researchers propose different methods for extraction of textures features, which each group of features have their positive and negative properties. As well, textures as an important property in medical images have attracted much attention in CAD system. The image segmentation is a technique of segregating the image into many parts. The basic aim of this segregation is to make the images easy to analyze and interpret with preserving the quality. This technique is also used to trace the object's borders within the images. This technique labels the pixels according to their intensity and characteristics. Those parts represent the entire original image and acquire its characteristics such as intensity and similarity. The image segmentation technique is used to create 3D contour of the body for clinical purposes. Segmentation is used in machine perception, malignant diseases, analysis, tissue volumes, anatomical and functional analysis, 3D rendered technique, virtual reality visualization, an anomaly analysis, an object definition, and detection. The next reporter reports about medical image displaying visualization and representation. Includes image displaying, display workstation and other tools, 2D and 3D displaying algorithms, 3D volume rendering and ray tracing, and virtual reality technology. Good day everyone, I am Angela Iporominal and my assigned task or topic is all about image displaying and display workstation and other tools. Soft copy viewing. It refers to the display of the digital image at a computer workstation as opposed to viewing images on film or another physical medium. Or which also referred to as hard copy. The quality of the digital camera is also affected by important features of the display monitor such as its luminance, resolution, and viewing conditions such as ambient lightning and monitor placement. Specialized processing software is used at the display workstation to aid the radiologist in image interpretation. So in addition to soft copy viewing, the digital image can be printed on specialized film by a laser printer. Display monitor are used in many computer devices such as personal computers or PC and laptops to handheld mobile devices such as cell phones and mp3 players. Display monitor is an electronic device used to display video output from computers. It is also known as a computer screen or display screen. The quality of the digital image is affected by its acquisition parameters and subsequent computer processing. In addition, the quality of the digital image is affected by the performance of the display monitor. So the quality of the display monitors may not be equal among all those used for di viewing digital images.
Monitors used by radiologists for diagnostic interpretation, referred to as primary, must be of higher quality than the monitors used only for routine image review. However, the radiographer's monitor should be of sufficiently high quality in order to discern all the image quality characteristics accurately before sending the image to the radiologist for diagnostic interpretation. Display monitors used for diagnostic interpretations are typically monochrome high-resolution monitors and can be formatted as portrait or landscape and configured with one, two, or four monitors. So, this is a picture or image about a set of portrait display monitors used for soft copy viewing. So, there are two types of monitors. These are the cathode ray tubes or CRTs and liquid crystal displays or LCDs. These types of monitors typically used for viewing digital images. LCDs are repla replacing LCDs are replacing CRTs and newer technology such as plasma type monitors which is actually um, continually developed nowadays. So next is the CRT monitor. As we can see on the image in the screen, CRT monitor creates an image by accelerating and focusing electrons to strike the faceplate composed of a fluorescent screen. And because the image is scanned on the screen in lines, the number of lines affects the quality of the image displayed. It is recommended that a CRT monitor scan at least 525 lines per 1 of a 30 of a second. The major components of the CRT monitor are the electron gun encasing a cathode, focusing coils, and deflecting coils, and the anode. This type of display monitor typically has a curved faceplate, and its dimensions are deeper. LCD monitor. As we can see on the image, LCD monitor passes light through a liquid crystals to display the image on the glass faceplate. Additional components include a source for the electrical signal, light waveforms, and polarizing filters. This, this monitor typically has a flat faceplate and its dimensions are thinner. Placement of the display monitors and the level of light in the room can affect soft copy viewing of digital images, or referred to as ambient lightning. The level of light in the room referred to as ambient lightning. So, positioning the monitor away from any direct light sources reduces the amount of reflection on the faceplate of the monitor. In addition, Maintaining a low level of ambient lightning can help to enhance the viewer's percep perception of image, brightness, and contrast displayed on the monitor. Display monitors that have a thicker faceplate, which is like CRT, have a tendency to reflect more of the ambient lightning than monitors with thinner faceplates such as the LCD. Digital images are captured and processed to display a specific matrix size. An image created with a large matrix having many smaller sized pixels improves the spatial resolution of the digital image. If the monitor used for viewing the image or the digital image cannot display a matrix of that size because it has too few display pixels, then the image quality will decrease. Therefore, 
the monitor matrix size should be at least as large as the ma as the image matrix size and it is recommended that a high resolution 5 megapixel display monitor be used for diagnostic interpretation it is because anatomic tissues is visualized as brightness levels and the amount of light emitted from the monitor affects the quality of the displayed image display workstations and other tools display workstation is any computer that a healthcare worker uses to view a digital image so here are some example here is an example to be exact on the image on the screen it is the most interactive part of a PAX or picture archiving and communication system and these workstations are used inside and outside of radiology the display workstation receives images from the archive or from the various radiology modalities and presents them for viewing. The display workstation has PAX application software that allows the user to perform minor image manipulation techniques to optimize the image being viewed. So, there are four types of display workstation categorized by their resolutions. First is high resolution liquid crystal display or LCD for primary diagnosis at the radiology department. Second is medium resolution or LCD for primary diagnosis of sectional images and at the hospital wards. Third is precision desktop workstation LCD. And the last is hard copy workstations for printing images on film paper. So hi, good day everyone. I'm Sitchal Jerome and I'm going to report about the image, medical image displaying, visualization, and representation. Okay. So 2D and 3D displaying algorithms. 2D and 3D refer to the actual dimensions in a computer workspace. 2D is flat using the horizontal and vertical X and Y dimensions. The image has only two dimensions, and if turned to this side becomes a line. 3D adds a depth Z dimension. This third dimension allows for rotation and visualization from multiple perspectives. It is essentially the difference between a photo and a sculpture. The key difference between 2D and 3D echocardiography is a volumetric approach to data acquisition, so figure 1, visualization, so figure 2 and 3, and quantization, so figure 4. So, so figure 1, the student mentioned echocardiography is a tomographic technique which provides flat views of the heart and grid vessels which thickness is fixed and related to the physiatric, physioelectric elements of vertical dimension. Three-dimensional echocardiography is based on real-time volumetric imaging that allows acquisitions of pyramidal data sets. So, one is No? One is 2D. No, put in 3D. Okay. Figure 2. Imaging of the metral valve with 2D plane panel and 3D right panel. Echocardiography. From the ventricular perspective, 2D imaging allows visualization metal valve, left left margins, and left ventricular wall only. 3D volume rendering of the same valve allows precessions of the whole left lets, measures and relationship with surrounding structures. Left ventricular, outflow, outflow, in a realistic anatomic display. In contrast with 2D technique, 3D echocardiography allows the visualization of the structure of interest from virtually any desired perspective. For example, by 2D echocardiography, the metal valve can be seen from the ventricular perspective only, while by 3D echocardiography, the metal valve can be visualized both from the ventricular and the arterial surgery view perspectives. Quantitative analysis with 2D echocardiography is based on geometric assumptions about cardiac structure shape, spatial interpolation among available views and calculations using fixed mathematical formulas. 
respective of the actual shape of the cardiac structures of interest. Quantitative analysis with 3D echocardiography is based on voxel count and a volume which has been identified by semi-automated or automated border identification with the geometric assumptions about structures shape. Pros and cons of 3D versus 2D echocardiography. So, kwan siya? Advantages, advantages, o sa iyang limitations. So, mag-una ko sa advantages sa din, ako ikon din ang limitation. Okay. So, 3D provides realistic, automatic images and the beating heart which are easily recognizable and interpreted by the surgeons. Interventional cardiologist, pediatric cardiologist, anatomist, etc. So, sa limitations. 3D data set acquisitions and display require a specific training. Limitations na nila. So, advantages na po. The additional dimension that is inherent to 3D acquisitions allows data set navigation and, and cropping to obtain and face views of cardiac structures of interest that were not available with tomographic imaging modalities. 2D eco cardiac and magnetic resonance. Computerized tomography. Limitations. Patients with arrhythmias or unable and willing to cooperate with breath holding are challenging to image with current 3D technology. Advantages 3D allows visualizations of cardiac structures independent on visualizations of cardiac structures independent on availability of specific acoustic windows. It face views of the metral valve from apical approach or apico approach and automat automatically sound alignment of the imaging plane to provide accurate planimetry of orifice size planimetry of metal stenosis or anterior anterior i'm mean, sorry anterior septal defect limitations for acoustic windows limits the applications of trans thoracic or trans thoracic 3d so advantages na po in contrast with 2D echocardiography, the aligning planes on 3D data sets on to identify maximum long longitudinal or longitudinal access of cardiac chambers and avoid for shortened views and optimize volumetric quantifications is always possible. Limitations. The image quality is a prerequisite prerequisite sorry prerequisite for an accurate semi automated or fully automated volume quantification. Quantization. Advantages. 3D provides a unique and reliable quantitation of right ventricular volume by echocardiography, both in healthy subject and in patients. Limitations. Right ventricle has an unfavorable position within the chest for transthoracic 3D transtigitra, and severely dilated right ventricles are often difficult to encompass or encompass in a pyramidal, pyramidal 3D data set. 3D measurements of cardiac chamber volumes do not rely on geometric assumptions about the shape and are more reproducible and closer to values provided by cardiac magnetic resonance, the 2D volumes. Limited evidence exists but about the reference values of cardiac chamber 3D volume and the intervendor consistency of 3D quantitative parameters. A comprehensive and time volume analysis of cardiac chamber geometry and functions can be obtained throughout the cardiac cycle from a single 3D data set. High, temp high temporal resolution can only be obtained from an ECG gated multi-bit acquisition. Phase surgical views of cardiac structures allows a reliable identification of me mechanisms and severity of organic as well as functional diseases of cardiac structures. Technical conditions, image quality, temporal and spatial resolution, gain, compression, dropouts, artifacts, etc. etc. may significant impact on disease severity assessment. And that's all. Medical image displaying visualization and representation. 3D volume rendering and ray tracing. Volume rendering. Volume rendering is a type of data visualization technique 
which creates a three-dimensional representation of data. CT and MRI data are frequently visualized with volume rendering in addition to other reconstructions and slices. This technique can also be applied to tomosynthesis data. Volume rendering is primarily done for better visualization of human anatomy, surgical treatment, planning, as well as in medical teaching. Volume rendering is used less in terms of general ultrasound. The closely related technology at surface rendering is more commonly used in 3D visualization of ultrasounds, however, has, has been used in echocardiography. Tomosynthesis, also referred to as digital tomosynthesis, is an imaging modality similar to but distinct from CT, which uses a more limited angle in image acquisition. Rather than a 360 degree acquisition of a structure, tomosynthesis via an X-ray tube arcing over a stationary detector is capturing an arc sweep of a single structure. This technique reduces the burden of overlapping tissues when assessing for single stationary entities such as pulmonary nodules. One of the primary disadvantages of tomosynthesis is the anisotropic nature of its image resolution. The clinical applications tomosynthesis include breast tomosynthesis, chest imaging to improve pulmonary nodule detection, head and neck imaging for better visualization of the paranasal sinuses, dental imaging for better spatial resolution, Mus musculoskeletal imaging for high resolution imaging of complex fractures, and emergency imaging when CT is not readily available. Volume rendering is commonly accomplished using ray tracing or ray casting techniques. Ray tracing or, and ray casting techniques operate on the principle of defining rays of light from a camera view. The rays behave according to the laws of physics as related to light and optics. In ray tracing specifically, light rays are altered as they reflect off and retract through surfaces of the defined virtual objects, taking into account the simulated nature of the scenes, simulated material. Ray casting is the most common technique. The volume is positioned near the viewer and the light source and a ray is projected from the eye through each pixel in the image plane through the volume. Casting advantages and disadvantages. Advantages, not necessary to explicitly extract surfaces from volume when rendering, can change the transfer functions to make various surfaces stand out within the volume. Disadvantages, do not have explicit representations for surfaces Therefore, not straightforward to compute integral or differential properties. Much more computationally intensive to render volumes since not dealing directly with the efficient polygon pipeline. Rendering alg algorithms can be grouped into four categories. First, rake casting. Second, resampling or shear warp. Third, texture slicing. And fourth, splatting. The algorithm and many other volume rendering algorithms use a simplified light transport model in which a photon is assumed to scatter exactly once when it strikes a volume element of voxel and is subsequently reflected. Absorption between the light source and the scattering voxel is ignored while absorption between the viewer and the scattering is modeled surface methods produce hard surfaces at distinct field values. Volume visualization methods produce soft surfaces by blending the contributions from multiple surfaces, integrating the contribution from the entire volume. By carefully classifying the range of field values to various source contributions to the volume and mapping these classified values using color and transparency. 
individual surfaces can be resolved in the rendered image. 10 steps. First, reconstruction. Second, classification. And third, optical model and last is shading. Recover the original continuous function from discrete samples. Classification order. Types of classification is pre-classification, which is classification first and then filter. Then post-classification, filter first, then classification. Final model. Ray tracing is one method used to construct the final image. Common shading model. For each sample, and evaluate c equals ambient plus diffuse plus specular equals constant plus ipkd and point l plus ipks in n point h ip is emission color at the sample and n is normal at the sample basic idea based on the idea of ray tracing it treat each pixel as a light source and emit light from the image to the object space then the ray stops at the object boundary then calculate shading at the boundary point and assign the value to the pex pixel data representation 3d volume data are represented by a finite number of a cross sectional slices or a stack of images Representation. What is a voxel? So this, this is the two definitions of a voxel. A voxel is a cube cell which has a single value cover the entire cubic region. A voxel is a data point of a corner of the cubic cell. The value of a point inside the cell is determined by interpolation. This is the unshaded images of each node and a final image skin. Unshaded images of each node and a final image, which is bones. This is the shaded images of visible human male data set. This is a visualization of bones and skin. Shaded images of visible human male data set. This is a visualization of muscles and bones. Images of visible human females data set. This is a visualization of skin. Mythical images being visualization and presentation. Virtual reality technology. What is virtual reality? Virtual reality. It's a real-time simulation where the user is effectively immersed in a responsive virtual world that provides visual energy. But sometimes other sensory inputs that makes the virtual world seem real and makes the user feel present in the simulation. Virtual reality devices. It's in this head mounted space. Octopus Rift. Google Cardboard. HTC Dive. Vibe. VR input devices. Natural motion, natural motion, input controllers, motion trackers. Other advanced VR input devices. Directional sounds, tactile and force feedback devices. Sensory gloves, grids a more sensualized interface. Haptic, touch interface and tactile feedback devices such as the cyber grasp glove allowed you to feel the 3D world. How does VR work? Radio. One way VR trick 
tricks your brain into thinking what you are saying is a 3D world it's with a stereoscopic display this works by displaying those slightly different angles of the scene of each eye simulating the parallax is also used to simu simulate with further object to use them to move us slower. Field of view is the riches around you that you can see at any given time. For example, humans have about a 180 degree FOV while looking straight ahead and 270 degrees with eye movement. The higher FOV a VR system provides the re the realer it seems. That means it's also a major factor that goes in a pleasant VR experience with anything over 20 milliseconds of being fast enough to shake your brain into thinking you are in a different world. Depending on the system, your VR screens will have an average latency around 4 to 5 milliseconds. Many system factors can increase latency. How does VR work movement? How does the system know how to move your ass around in a virtual world? Accelerometers, gyroscopes, and magnetometers are used to achieve movement of the user in the virtual world. The accelerometer is used to detect three-dimensional movement. The gyroscope is used to detect angular movement. The magneto magnetometer, magnetometer detects our de position relative to the, to the Earth. Spatial audio. Or 3D audio. This, is, this system is a check charge of the virtual placement of sounds in a three-dimensional environment. The system generates sounds from different angles to simulate our sounds coming from different directions. Other kinds of VR. Same immersive pro projection system. Large size resolution screens or projections give a sense of scale with 3D glasses giving deep. A lot of simultaneous experience of the view which is not available with head mounted immersive systems. Virtual reality, totally immersive virtual environment. Visual and auditory senses are under control of system. Sometimes tactile and proprioceptive senses also made a mechanism to create virtual world to user.